there's, there's over 200 million gallons a day of waste vegetable oil in the United States. A lot of that's going overseas. So let's harness it, keep it here, turn it into fuel. can't make bile out of food and water. It has to be clean, right to the bone. So what we do is our first step is we get rid of the big stuff. The major water, the major food. So I do a little bit of first. Kind of ugly at first. Looks pretty damn good, don't it? Yeah, and normally it's whiter at first. Yeah. I think it's going to go bad, but only water. Which these units right here actually cooks it. It gets rid of what moisture is in it. And then we run through 20 micron filters, which gets rid of the food particles. Then by that point, it, it's pretty good shape. Then the oil comes into this, this one here. And then we put our chemicals in here and we stir them up, get them all stirred up so they're all dissolved. And then we inject the chemicals into the main tank. And then it does its process. But there's still a lot of impurities in the fuel that's floating around. So to get rid of that, to make it really good fuel, we run it through these two towers that are full of sawdust. And that takes all the soap out, all the glycerin, and what comes out of the bottom of them, as you can see, it's really clear now. It has no nothing in it, no water, no food, no nothing. It's just it's just clean, clear. And then when it runs through these two, and then it comes into the tank, and now it's good for, for, for selling. We recycle everything. There's okay. nothing here that we throw away. The water that's in, in the uh, waste vegetable oil evaporates. Okay. The food, we're working on that right now with a gal out of Miami. So she's going to get us a worm farm to where we take the scraps, put them in the worm farm, and then, of course, that turns into worm dirt, worm castings. It goes up to the homestead to the organic farmers. Mm -hmm. um, the glycerin we clean up and we use as soap. And then the sawdust that's in these cylinders here, we use as uh, fire starters. I think it's gonna be the fuel of the world someday. It's, by making bio out of waste vegetable oil, we control the price. Diesel fuel you can't. Diesel fuel is a uh, product that basically is out of our control. So if it goes to four dollars, we're still three seventy-five. If it goes to four fifty, we're through still three seventy-five. If it goes to five dollars, we're still three seventy-five. We can control that as a community. If the people lead, the leaders will follow. And I feel if the mass, let's say the whole population, were to get involved in small batches of bio that were quality controlled and make ASTM certified fuel, which is world standard, it's a good fuel to put it in anything. It, it's, uh, if people were to get involved in making this kind of fuel, then it would be something that could be taken from every little township in the world. If you don't have waste vegetable oil in an area, then you can grow a feedstock, you know? And there's so many feedstocks to pick from. There's a feedstock that will you can adapt to your climate. You know, we don't want to take away from our food chain, so soybean and corn is kind of on the back burner, you know. As long as you have people to feed, that should be the first priority. So I, my whole vision is take the keys and slow it down. Put a train down here. Every town would have a stop. Um, there would be people that have to come in and get their produce and take it and deliver it to all the all the restaurants, uh, grocery stores, it creates jobs. We wouldn't have trucks come down here anymore. We need to clean it up. We need to take most of our gasoline engines, turn them into diesels, and start burning bio. If you could do that, it would be quiet. Right now, you wouldn't hear all the truck traffic. So look at the pollution you'd be saving, especially when the train runs on bio. But it's education, it's just people not knowing. Because I, it was the longest time I didn't know. But I kept looking and looking for answers until one day the light just went on and said, wow, you know, here's a pretty good answer. And if I don't do it, who's going to do it? So you step up to the plate.